Hey there, welcome to Sam. Back with another video. It's Sammy from Top Art Gaming, and in today's video, we will be beating each and every member of the Indigo Flat Queue. And this was a requested video of uh, uh, the person, this guy right here. And uh, also, this was also requested by other, but is in on the special request I have done. He was my 79th subscriber. Uh, he have just told me that and so we will be just doing and also i know that he is watching me from a very long time and i appreciate your uh, uh, support you are showing a lot of lot of support in my channel right now so okay nice cool which team do i bring although uh, i'm not going to talk about this uh, so much but so let's get rid of the dark cry and move on to the battle so i have defeated the uh, indigo platgu in level how much uh, i remember it's a uh, level 58 and uh, it took me a lot of attempts for beating the first trainer other are uh, easy and but uh, the first one is a lot harder than you expect so uh, the team i brought was uh, uh, kind of they will bring oh, how like oh, ice type and water type and uh, so we will be bringing kind of its disadvantage right here you have to think uh, its disadvantage only in this place and also the zaptos will do a really good work here and so it's also ice type so we will be uh, you may guys not have this much high level pokemon but you can try uh, and i forgot which pokemon i take uh, okay okay I forgot so let's take Wawa Fit. Wawa Fit is nice. So uh, you may guys also wonder uh, why is other map not opening because the map is not uh, in it is in progress and it is not done yet and Cherry Global is the last city and I have completely defeat this uh, place and uh, this place was a uh, easy uh, its level was high but this was easy so let's move to the victory road to the control region and uh, indigo blood Goose. so i have not defeated the in light version yet but i will be doing so let's first defeat the normal one so we can move on to the in light we, it may take a lot of uh, time to just defeat so i think this video is going to be long but so let's wait and so this is first time so it will take some time to load up and also i would like to thank you all guys for the support in the channel and we have just crossed the 600 subs and uh, i was busy uh, uh, a little bit on the past days was really hard for me but i will be now posting more videos nowadays and to help me to get the uh, 1000 subs so it will use safeguard so in lower level you have to wish that your uh, snow legs would uh, do the paralyze with the body slam if you don't have body slam then that's really bad because body slam is one of the basic thing that the snow legs should have so right now you can see the um, cluster is now paralyzed because of the body slam and body slam is so much good i love it and uh, also the snow legs is normal type and its hp is so high so it can tank for a long time so let's use the uh, body slam here oh no it kills so right here the slow bro is so much slow so you can try doing the zaptos uh, the Z your zaptos may be very high in speed and when the jinx is out uh, you should bring out your aerodactyl uh, first because uh, the jinx can sometimes kill your uh, uh, yeah like that you kill your moltres and the moltres will be a little bit faster sometime uh, sometimes it will use uh, some attack that will be faster so let's use flamethrower and our luck 
okay blizzard was unable to hit us uh, that was really good so here is the kingdra it is one of the hard part for there if you have save of your zaptos then that is really good because uh, zaptos would be a great against the kingdra here uh, here is alligantry oh yeah that was good okay and now the last part will be Lapras. If your uh, Lapras, when you are fighting against Lapras, if your Zapdos is again uh, like uh, alive, then that will be great. And it can use uh, Ice Beam, which is a Hairac, and let's use Counter. So it will use. Oh, it died. So let's use Gengar. My Gengar is still alive. So let's use Shadow Ball and take this Lapras down. And like that. Uh, the Lapras is down. Uh, may, you maybe don't have this much high level Pokemon, but you will be surely defending it. And also, I warn you, don't take any rock type Pokemons like uh, Golem, Steelix, uh, Graveler, etc. Because it is going to have a very big disadvantage against the first trainer. So, moving on to the next trainer, it is kind of fighting type so there is no problem with this like if you have Gengar and uh, Zapdos it will be great and also in here I also remind you that don't take the rock type Pokemon so uh, it, it is fighting type so I'm gonna take the uh, Alakazam here if you don't have Alakazam then you can also substitute with the Articuno it will also do the thing with the Golem because the second trainer will be bringing the Golem at last so uh, okay it is going to take some time please don't take time okay and uh, Articuno and also you can uh, if you don't have Kaz Articuno then you can use uh, Melodic. Melodic is one of the best Pokemon in this game. Okay, so let's defeat this. And also Snorlax is the main Pokemon that will be playing as the first Pokemon. It is one of my best no not best favorite pokemon that i like to use because it is uh, it have a very high hp and it can tank and it is a uh, resistance it don't have a uh, every resistance but uh, it will be just tanking for a while because it is uh, it have high hp and it is normal type so let's use earthquake here if you don't have earthquake then tease it or uh, you can also do other now my Snorlax know various kind of uh, moves so that will be great and also you can give uh, some uh, good amount of uh, uh, items for uh, the Snorlax to uh, oh yeah nice for the surviving a little bit longer like golden berries and other okay hit only drill pick will do the thing okay didn't do the thing but next attack will do the thing yeah so next pokemon will be right on you you must swap the uh pokemon because here is the rock type and the zapdos will do like very low uh, damage to the rock type and now we will be facing the machamp here uh, this is really tricky so because uh, your uh, pokemon may die uh, and you don't you may not have the counter for last golem and uh, the match i has used focus uh, energy and last time okay sismic talks and bizarre you are down and uh, also remember my pokemon are high so your pokemon may not be super high as mine but uh, okay okay don't thank god we we get the six enough six not three star here because our six pokemon are alive and that was good so second trainer is down so also when you are fighting the inlight version you can get the tcg that is really good and here is the ice beam that is really great and other tcgs are not like crazy but uh, it is good that you can you can put it dragon rage is good and also try attack is uh, normal attack so the complaint but i would like to take so here is the third trainer it will be bringing ghost and poison type pokemons so as a poison type pokemon you can take like uh, psychic type for the disadvantage for this uh, place if you have gengar then be 
sure bring it because Gengar will be great here and also Alakazam is a great Pokemon here and if you don't have any then you can bring Starmie, Slowbro like that but Slowbro will be slower and Starmie will do the thing so Starmie will be like really fast not really fast but it will be faster than like Slowbro, Snorlax I think but I like Snorlax because Snorlax can load every type of moves that's really good not every moves can be learned by Snorlax but can you learn every type of uh, ability so that's good and so let's use uh, Earthquake to the Gengar and please don't use Hypnosis and he missed that's really good and here's the goal bat so here is the psychic also remember that the psychic will be the advantage over these uh, pokemons so here is the hunter so let's use earthquake and bam you are out snorlax is doing great until now so bite earthquake nice nice and earthquake again really good snorlax is doing great right now and here is another gengar for the surprise and uh, let's use earthquake one more time and okay it's asleep so let's bring alakazam alakazam is really fast pokemon so it will be really great to bring because uh, against the gengar uh, it is going to be hard time because it is really high it will be really high in level and uh, the alakazam finished the work so alakazam is great and if you don't have alakazam you can use uh, gengar but it will be slower so in this case i have Geng uh, no alakazam so i used alakazam and there was a three star victory and the lance will be bringing the dragon type pokemon so nothing super crazy but the first two pokemon gyarados and the aerodactyl will be uh, in our control because the zapdos will be there so you can use your zapdos as a starting pokemon here uh, that will be a little bit different here and also if you want uh, to bring like other pokemon here like uh, the melodic because it can learn ice uh, ice type moves and uh, against flying type ice type moves are great so okay uh, the it will be just throwing like a flying type pokemon so ice type will be also great here and uh, moving on okay Gyarados is down and this level is 78 I am 64 your level may be like 58 or so but you can also defeat it in the 58 level but with the lower chance of winning your uh, log defense like uh, it will be like paralyzed or not but uh, if you have a very high level of upgrades then you can definitely um, win that so let's bring the Snorlax for the 3 star because my Zapdos is gonna die in the next round because of the mm. flamethrower and here's the uh, Dragonite and wing attack oh I didn't get the 3 star now okay ice beam and hyper beam uh, the Dragonite is uh, very hard to defeat and it will throw another Dragonite for the surprise that's really bad and here's the uh, is down so let's bring the aerodactyl and the zapdos cannot do a lot of damage to the dragonite because the dragonite is dragon type so it won't be like super great and let's bring gengar and use the hypnosis strategy and uh, let's bring dream meter oh no not diameter use shadow balls shadow balls will be greater and the dragonite is out so we have got just one star in this uh, battle very bad but the next battle will be with the gary oak but also remember that in the common version also the gary oak will be grieving uh it have a slight chance of dropping the tcg here that you may be wondering which tcg is oh my battery just get low which tcg is that that is triad the same as the epic one in light one so uh, if you don't want to battle in in light one then skip it because it will be giving more goals only because uh, you will be getting the TCG in the normal version too so let's fight with the Gary Oak and it will bring like a random Pokemons and I don't know why the squirrel is here 
uh, when we are fighting it in the the past cities and uh, it will be using like war turtle and uh, i think it will be evolving blast or it but now i'm gonna devolve and i'm going to be square and i'm like oh yeah Squirtle it devolves so Squirtle is here not a great deal for the Zapdos Zapdos will be also in starting Pokemon for your start and Alakazam is here Alakazam is really fast so again you have to remember Zapdos must be the first Pokemon and if you if Zapdos if you don't want to put Zapdos then you can uh, bring like Snorlax as the second or the first Pokemon but uh, it will take some damage with the Squirtle too and you will be ha you will have hard time defeating the alakazam so i don't recommend you to do so and it is solar beam and moltres will be here various kind of pokemon uh, will be very helpful in this battle because uh, it will bring like 10,000 types of uh, pokemons and so aerodactyl and use this you ancient power and aerodactyl is very high in speed and nantes is really slow in this case and flamethrower don't do a thing because it is rock type okay oh whoa wow don't do that okay i demotivated the partly tap so here is the magneton so here is again it will use sometimes the zap cannon and that will be bad so i am just uh, going to do suicide for aerodactyl because uh, we are already going to get the only uh, one star so Motis will also do a great place here and uh, oh, the magneton runs a lot faster than my Motis so let's use hypnosis here and shadow ball okay it is asleep it is asleep keep on sleeping you are very good boy oh hypnosis again oh nice uh, your luck depends here that your uh, how much good accuracy will be your Gengars uh, but uh, that's it and Flareon also will be very hard here because the Flareon if you don't have watched my evolution video then the Flareon does like tank damage so sleep uh, strategy is working for, um, for me right now but uh, in the uh, last time I was using the rock type in this place so like Golem and uh, like that and also if you have swamp for then take here because uh, for the uh, like mod kit no mod kit not for the um, magneton and the flareon it will be good the swamp for will be good so i will be wrapping up this video this video is already very long and i would like to thank you all guys for watching and uh, if you want to see other uh, videos like this then be sure to leave a like subscribe to my channel and uh, just subscribe so that was my video about indigo flat give and i will be posting other videos very soon so this time your boy hamlet signing out